When you think of football rivalries, you think of the Manchester derby, the North London derby, but what about the Cambridgeshire derby? A fixture which no one knows about, but is full of hatred. For the first time in 21 years, this fixture will be held at the Abbey Stadium in what would be a tense and meaningful matchup. I was at a reverse fixture, and this happened. So much kicked off pre-match, pyros thrown into the away end, and inside, fans were disgustingly ripping down sinks, pipes, the lot. After the game, it also continued to kick off. Police presence was extreme, and the same, if not more, would be around the city today. Peterborough are fighting for playoffs, and Cambridge are fighting for their lives to stay. If last time meant a lot, this one will be even more vital. Here we are then, we are in Cambridge, ready for the Cambridgeshire Derby. 45 minutes till kickoff, and it actually feels like a local game for me for once. And most of the time I'm traveling three, four hours to games, but this one, hour and a half, I'm laughing. Like this helicopter is to look at any trouble in Cambridgeshire. That even surprises me, to be honest. From the reverse fixture where Peterborough won one nil, you can see why, because a lot did kick off pre-match. 2-1 Cambridge. 2-1 Cambridge! I've just seen that the best centre back and probably the player this season for Cambridge is injured. He's not playing today. I'm going to go 1 1 draw, and I think Cambridge will take that. Here is the Abbey Stadium in all its glory for Derby Day. Normally, I'm behind the goal of all the Cambridge fans where all the atmosphere is, but I forgot to buy my tickets well in advance. I booked late, and I've got to be in the South Harbour next to the away fans. It really feels weird, but I'm not getting any predictions from any of my mates because they're all behind the goal themselves. This is our entrance. South Haben. Here we go. First time going through here. Look at this. This is our view today. Away end on the right. Look at this. I mean, this is where I normally would go behind the goal. They're going to create some noise in there. I know it. Right, let me be optimistic. Give me a sec. <laughs> One nil Cambridge. Here you got the Borough Escort. And it all starts now. It all starts now. The big one. The Cambridge Derby. Cambridge versus Peterborough. You got the flag waving in the background. The NRE behind the goal here. Everyone is so understandably nervous for this game. There's massive on both sides, but when well they are on the table, it means everything. Look at this. My word. State of this, mate. Here we go, we've kicked off here. Oh, look at it! Tell you what, Lancaster. Oh my god! Here we go. Here's Brophy. It's not bad. If you continue that run, gonna to home. Bennett, left foot. Oh. Table. I said it'd be a better team. So that final chance. You find an opportunity to pull it through and get the goal. <laughs> 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 oh no. My mate just been kicked out. Oh no. Basically the ball came into the stand and then threw it to the opposite, opposite place where the player was. And the police kicking him out for that? It's not a kickable out of the fence. Not a shot. He is playing well. He wasn't in the reverse fixture since he's out on London Ball School and he has come back and he's thriving in the League One. Then it is a baller, you know. He's an absolute baller on that flag. Two minutes out of the until half time. Corner ball Cambridge. I said it'd be the better size in this game so far. It's all about our final boys to keep banging on about. The ball! It's not bad. Pyro going off in the home end. Look at this. He's come with a goal. He's come out from injury. He's been playing blinders lately. And he's got a goal. Half time! This is big for Cambridge. If they hold on to win this game, my word, for the relegation battle. They get themselves out of trouble. They're playing with both character, spirit, everything possible. There we go. One nil. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I told him. I knew they were Peterborough fans. I knew it. 100%. 100% Peterborough fans. They were not reacting at all to the Cambridge goal, to any chances. 
a noodle Peter fan. 100%. 100%. Some of Peter fans now getting escorted out. You can tell it was so obvious. I was right all along. I was always right. Here's a screenshot. As soon as the girl went in, they didn't even celebrate. Big, big second half for the boys. There you go. No! They've got the ball in the stand. They should all be kicked out. I don't think that ball's going to be going on the pitch anytime soon. Oh my god! I don't like these stairs. What a save! Little, oh my days! He's kept that 2-0. That should be 2-1. Keepers. Oh, he's so good. Bulgaria, call him up. Call him up. Goal scorer, dunk. What a lad. Come back from injury, look at him. No one would have thought that Cambridge would be at home, winning this game. But it's all about the fight, and have showed that in the last three games, winning two, drawing oh, one. It. In the 95th minute, they've got the confidence now, and I feel like that's what they're lacking at the start of this year. Scary move. They're going to be bouncing any second. There we go. Look at that. Hold of the terrace. Hold of the terrace. You've got to raise it. Nearly 15 minutes to go until full time. RV Nids is being subbed off. What a baller. What an absolute baller. Glad he's getting the reception he deserves. Is there a fire drill? Is there a fire drill? Standing ovation for Sam Smith, who has been unbelievable today. Look at how many stewards are out, by the way. It's like they're going to pitch a raid of 2 0 down. You've got to go home! Far as a shithole! You've got to go home! The fight is for everything about his performance has been exceptional. Cheerio, cheerio! Four minutes added on, and it looks like it's going to be game over. I can't see him getting two goals in injury time. What a performance in the game of sports. And they're all steaming out. Steaming out. Full time. What a win. What a win for Cambridge. The fight they showed up today was unbelievable. Peterborough fans are booing the players. They're booing them. Even though they're up for a race in the playoffs, they were bad. They were bad today. But it wasn't because they were bad. Cambridge was so good. Look how much it means. Mark Bonnet is Cambridge through and through. And to lead his side into a victory in this Cambridgeshire derby. Oh, honestly. Special. Special for them all. Special for the club. Look what it means. Look in the terrace. <laughs> okay, fair enough, mate. Right? Okay, there's, uh, there's the escort. That means so fucking much. We are staying up. Cambridge 2, Peterborough 0, Cambridgeshire is amber and black.